Hi guys, welcome back into my channel. It's another mother freaking pick a card reading. As per usual, we have three piles and there was so much talk in my previous reads about flowers and roses. I was like, mm. I was in a Walmart and I was like, I cannot pass this up. I'll just buy flowers for myself because they're so pretty. Okay, for group one, we have this beautiful yellow rose. She's heavy too, man. There's a lot of bloom left in her, man. She's thick. And for the visual card, we've got number 33, the key. And for group two, we have this pretty peachy rose. It's kind of pinky too. And then for the visual card, group two, we have the house, which has number four on it, okay? As per usual, if you're drawn to more than one group too, that is completely fine. Group threes, we've got this beautiful, oh, I don't even know, burgundy or maroon, pinky, something, group three, okay? And look here for group three, number two, or the clover coming out for you. Um, clovers have been showing up a lot, and then seahorses have been popping up for me today personally, so, and the sea turtle has always been, and the conscious, so. That hints my background there, but we'll be right back with group one. All right, group one, for those of you that chose this beautiful yellow rose, or the key card, of course, I'm gonna put little Rosie back in her vase over here, okay? Ooh, the key card, so. Group one, as per usual, you know, you could be seeing 333 a lot. You could even be seeing roses a lot. But they sure are popping up for me quite a bit. These cards, ironically, no, it's not ironic, but they have a rose on them, right? Um, keys to a new home, keys to a new car are coming to mind. Holding the key to someone's heart. Someone might tell you that the, you hold the key to their heart. Tattoos with lock and keys coming to mind as well. And maybe you have some really old school, old antique doorknobs in your house. But let's see what other overall energy you guys have. Balance. The key to balance. I love this for you, group one. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity. You're having self-control, patience, and balance. So if you saw the pick a card from yesterday, group one was the visual card for the pick a card was patience, please. So if you're back here again today, I am not surprised. <laughs> Welcome back. Arrows, you might be seeing arrows a lot. His crown chakra, well, I guess that's his halo though. Cause he's a mother freaking angel right but see the rainbow oh man you guys i'm loving this i'm loving i'm loving i'm loving this let's see i'm gonna hold these cards these are surrender cards so i'm gonna hold those out until the end what else about the situation for group one what messages does the yellow rose have for group one Oh my gosh, look at you guys. Look at that. The locket, the key, and the locket. What? And 33 breaks down to 6, and so does 24. Oh, and lilies. You guys might be receiving flowers. You know, there was a, a bundle at Walmart with the auction with uh, roses and lilies, but all the lilies... Oh my gosh, and look, fucking roses came out too. <laughs> oh man. Um, your angels are making themselves very, very well known because my angel is Lily, hence the name of the channel, Angel Lily Oracle. Previously dubbed Eagle Lily, but Eagle was okay with me going with Angel Lily. It's time for a change, so don't be fearful of change, you guys. But anyways, they had packages of roses with lilies. This is crazy. I love how spirit is. They're just so synchronistic. There's an ending to something. Someone might have lost a family pet too. I, my deepest condolences. 
Um, also, I feel the need to share that there was like uh, some sort of solar storm in space on March 13th, which actually I do have to point out that it was the day was March 13th, so it was 313, right? But anyways, it um it explains a lot. Um, it really kind of put ascension symptoms on people and you know the two main things they said was not to consume caffeine or alcohol and it seems like that's what it felt like that's what everybody was going towards <sighs> those few days so you might still be feeling the effects from that as well but yeah every time of course always see a doctor if you feel like you need to see a doctor but every time there's something going on cosmically it's uh usually has some way of doing something to us okay I wasn't gonna take those two cards but they fell out hold on we are moving into tornado season right here in Oklahoma we're in tornado alley but look we've got movement conclusion understanding chaos and I feel like you're having movement towards understanding your chaos and conflictions. <laughs> you, uh, there's a lot of number nine cards here too, eleven and three. But um, gosh dang. Okay, Sarah. Oh, my impatience have been getting me here lately. I'm getting really like temperamental, really easy here lately, and I'm trying not to. It's hard because it really sparks hard in me. But anyways. A new understanding of why things had to happen the way they've happened. Coming to a conclusion, this is projecting your movement. Okay, now they want me to get these tea cards that I pulled earlier. Happiness, okay? You're coming out of this. You're stepping into the happiness. You're finally understanding, you know, like little things that are happening for you. And this message has come out quite a bit that happiness really does come from within there are no in outside influences that can help you and look funny I'm putting that right under balance you're balancing your happiness and your priorities someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change <laughs> an old mule okay so this could have been you in previous instances you were very stubborn in the suggestions that spirit was giving you probably very stubborn because well, I don't know why, but uh, very stubborn in the suggestions that spirit would give to you. Like instance, meditation, chakra alignment, yada yada, right? <clears throat> Hot air balloons are coming to mind here. And of course, doves are right there. Also having an understanding of someone in your life who may seem really stubborn to you and hard-headed. Light-hearted, carefree time. Yeah, you're moving out of this chaos and you're going more into a light-hearted, carefree time. Holy crap, my cat's in here. <laughs> he scarred me. He scarred me, he did. Do you want out, Mr. Midnight? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I guess not. I asked him if he wanted out and he just laid down and rolled around on the floor. Number six, harmony. Yeah. Bringing harmony and balance into your life. And if you're not feeling like that's what's going on right now, it's coming, honey. It's freaking coming. No longer trapped in fear and chaos. And you're moving on. You've got movement and moving on here. moving away from temptation and also on the bottom of a deck I had the card I think it said lust yeah but I didn't put that out there it's another number six card so you might oh we've got 2424 but you might be saying 666 as, as well but that's just another angel number okay but um, not moving towards that temptation you know not giving in to temptation, but it might not even be of a sexual nature. It's just whatever temptation, you know, whatever your vice is, right? 
you got the balance card again, group one. <laughs> That's number 11 on there. Wow. Okay, let's see what you're surrendering to. You guys may be receiving flowers, or maybe you're like me. You just purchased flowers for yourself. Um, some sort of sacred space or shrine. Uh, I don't know why Medal of Honor is coming to mind, too. <clears throat> maybe you've placed flowers around a Medal of Honor. Okay. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Okay? So they're... Oh, okay. Somebody here could be chasing somebody. The temptation and the lust. So you might be really always, like, the initiator. The one to make contact first. And this could be in a love relationship or just a regular relationship. But whatever it is, you, you're going to stop doing it. Or if this is you, you need to stop doing it if you haven't stopped doing it. We've got another number six card here, by the way. And the number synchronicity, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, they want me to get a clarity card for this trapped in fear right here. So, be aware of self-defeating attitudes or actions that undermine important goals. So, <laughs> be aware of self-defeating attitudes. Basically, be aware of your ego. Norwal? What's Norwal? I don't know why. I looked at this horn and Norwal came to mind. I don't know if that's like a type of, like a whale and a unicorn or some sort of unicorn, but that comes to mind. Hey, 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 stop scratching my bed, fucker. So, Spirit is helping you to surrender to non-action at this time. Whether it's towards that temptation, you know, uh, lusting after somebody or something. Um, they're trying to help you have an understanding of the situation. They're trying to shine some light on why. And look, we've got the key right here too. Trying to shed a light on it for you. There's going to be a successful compromise, though, between you and your ego. You might you might have found some little trinket or treasure on the ground or found something you thought you lost a long time ago as well. That's coming to mind. Okay. A lot of flowers here, though, today. Look, there's little roses on that locket, too. I think there's one more card on this one that wants to come out. So, let's see. That landed on the non-action anchor. Yeah. <laughs> Plant your ass and don't fucking move. <laughs> Plant your ass. Go sit outside. Just, you know, sit down and rest. You're, you're pushing yourself too hard. You're going and going and going. Because I get it. You've got, <clears throat> you know, the energy or the substances. And maybe that's something like... You know, it's energy drinks that you really go after because they give you that boost and that um, extra momentum that you might need to make it through your day. But your spirit team is saying, you know, when you have to ingest more than a cup of coffee during the day, that's not beneficial to your mental or emotional health because the caffeine is like, it is literally... Another vice like alcohol for some people. Well, obviously, right? But what I mean is they don't outlaw alcohol, but they talk so bad about cannabis and flour, right? And like CBD and anything that grows from the earth, like my kratom, the DEA is trying to really put that out there and, and get it um, out of pro production. But caffeine is also... When it's, um, it's already derived. It's already a toxin derived from a plant, essentially. And when it's taken out of, say, tea. Tea is okay because tea is a natural, right? And coffee. Tea and coffee are, are bueno. But when they start making them into those, like, 300 milligram energy drinks or shots, that's, that's getting a little overdoing it. It's overdoing it. Anyways, it instills anxiety. It fuels anxiety and it fuels worry. And I have noticed an immense difference because I forget this and I get going. I'm an Aries and, you know, I'm a little hot-headed and hard-stubborn. 
but I um, have really calmed down on the caffeine and I switched over to this thing called mud water and it's just oh it's really good I, I mean it's an acquired taste definitely for most people but anyways if you're interested look into that but <sighs> calming down and not consuming so much caffeine try to pace yourself and figure something else out like okay well I'm just gonna leave that at that okay holy cow surrender your ego Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. So, yeah. Finding peace and harmony and balance between your ego self and your higher self. I'm feeling this really hard with you guys, group one, because... Well, I just really resonate with it today. Because my ego said was like, let's get up. Let's do something. Let's play with our cards. And then I kept pushing it out of my head. And I was like, no, let's not. So I got up and moved around a little bit. And then, then finally Spirit was like, yeah, it would benefit you to do the read today or this morning. And then like, I'm already making a plan for my day. So maybe that's something you group one needs to maybe look into doing is making a plan or a routine for the day as well. But anyways, we've got double aids down here too. Group one, I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. Until next time, my dears, love and light. Hi, group two. For those of you that chose this beautiful, sweet, little peachy yellow rose. Peachy keen. Everything's peachy keen, group two. Um, it's so pretty. I'm going to put it back in the water, though. She's been out for a little while. Or if you chose to go by the aesthetic, the house. <clears throat> and as per usual, if you are drawn to more than one group, that's fine as well. Please keep in mind this could pertain to your past, your present, or your potential near future. Okay, so the house. Um, different stuff here. Getting a new house, wanting to move into a bigger house refurnishing or remodeling painting outside landscaping is coming to mind you might be someone who's really ready for the warmer days spending a lot of time outside on your porch <sighs> dynamics in the household you might be dealing with little stressful situation but not too bad nothing that you guys won't overcome all is well all is well all is well let's see what this card is oh well he doesn't he looks kind of bored so maybe you're bored with the house you're in impartial respected stoic receiving wise advice remain objective and fair-minded public speaking communicate clearly unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable so what really stuck out to me was to communicate clearly and the unemotional relationship or being emotionally unavailable so you might be feeling a little complacent with somebody i think that's the right word um they might not be very open to you in speaking on their thoughts, feelings, and emotions. It's like you might know that there's something going on with this person, but you're not quite sure what. And when you ask them if they're okay, they're like, yeah, fine. Why? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? <laughs> All right. What deck are we going to use? Okay. Immediately they had me go to this one. So I feel like for each group, it's going to be different decks that I use. Three more cards. Triumphant success. And I have to say, there is a sword here. So, something about truth. Someone speaking their truth. You know, and sometimes when we, we need... Uh, asking the right questions comes to mind, too. And, you know, just being human is part of asking... Or asking questions is part of being human, right? Power. Courage is coming to mind. There's great power in asking questions. There's great power in speaking your truth. 
okay, and this might be to a higher power or reigniting a spiritual relationship, maybe you're reigniting your faith in God. On the bottom of the deck, I've got stand your ground. And not so much as being authoritative, but assertive is coming to mind. The situation goes your way when your attitude changes. So if, if this is you or somebody you're dealing with, his arms are crossed. When people cross their arms like that, I feel like it's a very like um, defensive stance or confrontational stance. So jumping to conclusions comes to mind, but also irrationality coming from a place of anger or hurt or resentment this could be you this was pro this is probably you in the past I think there's some clarity cards here for us confidence triumphant success in your confidence Maybe that's part, of, that is a big part of it, is having confidence in yourself to speak your truth and not to be fearful of judgment or what others think. It's like you're waking the lion in yourself and you're coming out of this rigid, <clears throat> this rigid background. Maybe you're just a little, maybe just a wound a little too tightly. I mentioned in group one about caffeine consumption and how that can fuel anxiety and whatnot. Oh, I dropped him on the floor. Look, success. And there's some sort of contract here. So there's going to be success. And also if there's a legal matter or something to do with contractual agreements, you're going to have success in those, okay? Darkness does not always equate to evil. And light does not always bring good. Keep your ears open, okay? Keep your ears open in situations. Keep your ears open when somebody is speaking to you. They say they're being open and honest. This is coming to mind as well. That somebody might say they're, oh, well, um, I, I really want to be open with you right now. And then, like, you might be able to blatantly see that they're just trying to fucking manipulate you in some way, okay? So be, be very careful, okay? Don't be too rigid in it, but, you know, discern. And group two, there's maybe a sense to clear that crown chakra and the third eye of any junk or trash that could have built up in it. Um, <clears throat> that way we're not, you know, leaning on ego's imagination and fueling it as our intuitive thoughts. Some people really feel like they're standing in the light of truth when all they're doing is blabbing falseness. Some people don't speak from a place of understanding. A person might be in a position of authority and just uh, automatically assume that, oh, people have to listen to me. They'll believe whatever I say. We've got lady, so you are probably the lady of your household. She's holding a rose there, and I do have to mention... Oh, look, there's Lily. Um, roses on these cards, but we've got garden here as well. I mentioned spending time outside, landscaping or something, tending to your garden, my loves. Maybe you're wanting to fence in the yard or put a trellis in the backyard. Maybe you have a trellis. You're going to be working with friends, too. And if you feel like you might need some maintenance or assistance, reach out to friends for help. Maybe you've got friends around you that could benefit from doing some little side jobs for you as opposed to uh, reaching out to a big corporation and the child. So letting your inner child play, 
but also the ch the dynamics with your kiddos in your household is coming to mind as well also it's like somebody may not be wanting to be treated as a child anymore because they are you know moving into a woman or they are a woman older than 15 i'm feeling here what's this card the letter so there's going to be a message coming in regarding the situation. Maybe you're waiting on news or a letter. Anything else here for group two? The cross. This is such a pretty card. I really love it. There we go. That's almost tattoo worthy in my book. Something about the cross, maybe crossroads, but also questioning religious beliefs. Oh, okay. Some of your kids in the household could be like, you know, social media. <laughs> Ooh, social media. Um, you might want to start checking your kids' phones. Yeah, because when our kids comment on stuff and then that opens them up for things. Also, having them clear their energy or protect their energy while they're scrolling social media. Because kids are very open and susceptible to other people's energies, right? Um, if there was some sort of information you picked up when that card, I showed you that card though, don't disregard it, okay? Let's see what spirit is helping you sur surrender to. Surrender your fear of change. And maybe, group two, you feel like if you're open and you speak your truth that it's it's going to change something for the worse. But we've got to stop doing that. You've got to have a positive outlook because if you fear that it's going to change something for the worse, then when you're finally put in a position where you have to speak your truth or you're called out or something, because it'll probably happen, then... You know, we might manifest that fearful outcome. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. And look, I'm putting that over the triumphant success card. Um, fear of something changing the dynamics in a relationship changing unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable but i feel like once you speak your truth or you start opening up and speaking more on your truth whatever that may be for you it's going to help open that person up too you're going to be the catalyst for their healing and their openness i'm not going to take that one yet we're going to do these Plenty of material things. So looking around at all the abundance in your life. And you might be being called right now to watch your finances. Maybe try to save. Set a goal for yourself. Maybe you're wanting to remodel that kitchen or that bathroom. You know, start, start fucking saving, okay? But you've got a lot of abundance already. Look at all the material wealth around you. All the clothes, the dishes in the cabinet. Um... Your makeup, your shoes, your kids' clothes, tools, everything, you know. Oh, the rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So there's nothing to fear in speaking your truth because you've you've overcome some sort of hurdle in that relationship or that um conversation. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh, money will be coming to you, though. Look at all that. A lot of coins. You might be finding coins or little treasure trinkets in odd places. Or you might come across something you thought you lost a long time ago as well. In November, something of significance to someone in November. I'm going to get a clarity card for that, too. Because some of you guys might be like, I don't know. Have confidence and trust your gut. So there might be a situation where you're really going to be tested in November. Or this could be, you know, little tests up until November. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I asked again for a clarity card to be more specific. And they pointed me at these. So. 
take up space. <laughs> so the need to take up space. That's the emperor. Stepping into your emperor or impress power. And unlearning something. Unlearning. Unlearning. Be open to receiving the ever-loving abundance that's waiting for you after doing this truth in a situation and look good news good news is coming there's a letter here too but also it's pointing to me that there's a spiral here also but anyways it's pointing to me that they will be open to hearing what you have to say and they will receive the information with flying colors very smoothly okay also, on another note, somebody who do, does have small children, you need to pay attention to what they're saying, okay? If they're talking about... Okay, two different things here. They could be speaking about their past lives. If they're saying... Well, you'll know. You, It'll register with you when you hear it, or it already has. Something about past lives, but the second one is they may be seeing stuff or sensing spirit or talking to great grandma on the other side, okay? Don't be fearful of this. Surrender. <laughs> Surrender the idea you can fix someone. Remember all this going on over here? It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Okay. So I mentioned earlier that somebody here in their dynamics was as they heal themselves, they are helping to heal the people around us because it's a it's an energetic exchange. It's a vibrational frequency. When we are healing, um, it goes out. Ugh, chakras are coming to mind there too. But as I say, for instance, I work on my solar plexus three times out of the week. <clears throat> and in doing that, it helps build my confidence, right? And it helps me feel more solid in myself, stepping into my power. And as I do this, I'm going to have that confidence vibrational frequency around me. And when people are exchanging energy with me in my household, it's going to go into their energetic field, right? The idea also of being able to fix someone is like whatever the fear is behind not wanting to have the conversation or ask the question or find out, you know, the information. It's kind of like the same thing, like you're putting words into that person's mouth because honestly what's going on on the inside is not reflecting what happens on the outside okay there was another read another pick a card that was talking about this sort of thing okay they want me to get this card over here so let's get this deck out it's my tarot one of them the star there's going to be great success here the star came out but that was too many cards so I just want one. I'm just going to reach in. Ace of Wands. New beginnings, birth, new ideas, creation. So this is going to be a catalyst. You know, you are going to set things into forward motion. It came out in group two actually yesterday in the read I did. I think it was group two. Hell, I don't remember. I think it was group two. Sometimes all these run together. So anyways, group two. Oh, this is group two too. So maybe you like the twos. Until next time, my dears, love and light. Well, hi, group three. Long time no see. For those of you that chose this beautiful, beautiful burgundy maroon rose, look at that. That is just almost, it's freaking perfect. It is freaking perfect, isn't it? It's so pretty. I love it. I'm going to put her back over here in the vase with the water, though, okay? Or if you were going by the clover... Of course, we have St. Patty's Day coming up, and I did a pick a card yesterday that was pick a clover. But today we're doing roses because, you know, it just keeps popping up in my line of stuff. Roses everywhere, every day. Roses and lilies. All right, let's see what your overall energy is. I feel like I was about to flip that over, and then they're like, well, let's read the card first, Sarah. The color green. 
could be you might be really drawn to the color green here lately that's heart chakra also you're very lucky group three you guys have a lot of good luck on your side it might be easy you know you might win raffles and prizes and door prizes and that sort of thing and if this is not you then you're fixing you're fixing to win something because i've always heard people who win stuff oh i never win anything this is great so you got good stuff you got a lot of lucky magic coming towards you oh lucky magic nice um luck affirmations are coming to mind as well like stating that you are abundant and you're lucky in everything you do loyal dedicated protective apprehensive plan carefully before taking action but then get going pay attention to the details wait for perfect timing a guardian angel or someone who watches over you this is the king of pentacles but i feel like you see how he's got this empty field behind him and he's got his blank plans laid out in front of him so paying attention to the smaller details manifestation is coming to mind so you might be looking into manifestation scripting <clears throat> this is a green card as well so some more green going on here <clears throat> forgetting to breathe over here the moon and look there there's a black cat so this might be someone who's a little superstitious uh, relying too much on symbolism to keep the luck on your side so you might be feeling like if you see a black cat it's bad luck but you know what it, it's not it's really not bad luck but if you keep projecting it out there to be bad luck every time you see a black cat you're gonna like I don't know get a flat tire stub your toe hammer your finger protect your energy though we've got a full moon cycle coming up there is movement though and we've got another horse here's a horse here and this is talking about planning carefully before you take action so something planning something about the moon the full moon ritual too okay but this is going to give you momentum and you're going to be successful and whatever it is you're doing and whatever ritual you're trying to do too maybe you're trying to bring in love for yourself mm. whoa okay so we've got the journal so journal writing look there's the roses again writing in your journal oh and manifesting script scripture manifesting Can you help me out here, Spirit, please? Manifesting journal. <laughs> Excuse me. The clouds. Your spirit team is trying to lead you towards that. When you get really drawn to write stuff down that comes to mind or writing out a story of yourself and where you see yourself in three months. I don't know. Do it for a few weeks. Test it out. Test your abilities and see where you need to tweak it. Um, let's see what else does the full moon entail there oh there's a spring equinox coming up also but the full moon sheds clarity on some stuff so if this isn't you just yet wait until after this full moon and I bet dollars to donuts that you'll be doing this uh, planning and figuring and manifesting also cloud gazing is coming to mind and it might be really kind of cloudy or gloomy where you're at right now because we've got a lot of gray clouds here gray clouds here and there's some gray on these clouds as well i'm so excited for spring and summer oh man so so excited well, look the house well we know this came from group one so maybe you're trying to manifest a house Maybe you love your house and you're wanting to redo the inside. So manifesting the money and the product for that. A lot of um, wisdom here, though. 
Maybe you have owls around your house. Owls might be of significance. It might be something that keeps popping up for you. Beware of greediness and selfishness, okay? Congratulations will be in order, though. Memories of love. The heart chakra. Whoop. There she is. There she is. Deception and envy. Okay. So, this is why I said keep in mind about greediness or selfishness because the fox had come out. But you know, we're going to get another clarity card on that. I don't want to scare anybody, but at least you'll be aware, okay? Stop rushing. Take time to be still in order to see things clearly. So, forgive. Okay. Boom. There it is. For somebody who may have not been very honest or truthful with you, you may have felt like this person was hiding stuff behind your back, intentionally keeping information from you, leaving a page blank in the story. Oh, now let me pull one of these surrender cards, so... Surrender your attachment to the results. The formula for success is to do all you can do to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly a desired outcome can sabotage it. So remember what I said earlier about the cat and being fearful that, you know, saying, oh, cats symbolize bad luck. They're going to bring me bad luck. And they don't. I rebuke that right now, okay? As my black cat is laying on the end of my bed. Surrender your the idea or the attachment to results. This could be somebody who is coming back towards you from a previous instance. But also for some, this might be, you know, deception and envy in yourself. Like something in yourself that you're needing to release. There's a lot of green here though. We have the number synchronicity, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's telling me, you know, whenever it's inclining numbers like that, you're t definitely taking the steps that are needed at this time and guided. Actually, it's a number synchronicity, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Okay, let's see what this card is. New job or career. There's going to be a lot of success in this new job or career, or this venture that you're wanting to go towards I don't know why horticulture comes to mind <clears throat> the tower a success a solid foundation success with effort another card about success and also a group three you some of you might be well you are able to see when somebody is being deceptive or envious was it this group at the beginning I was talking about someone who may be, no, it was group two. Somebody you might realize is being blatantly manipulative towards you. They're, they might be taking you for a full group three. Like they think they can charm you over with their narcissistic tendencies. And you're seeing right through the bullshit. Don't discount it because what you're hearing or seeing, thinking or feeling about the person is on point. If it's got something to do with manipulation or deception, okay? Someone is leaving your life, okay? Someone was leaving, this person is leaving because that's not going to change. That won't change for them, okay? You want me to get a clarity card on that one too. <clears throat> Concentrate on seeking the truth. <laughs> you will prevail in this matter, okay? You will prevail. Though they might be like, they will deny it until they fucking die. Some people are just relentless and they won't, they won't fess up to a damn thing. But, you know, with the memories of love card, that's just a reminder that, you know, there's something there that they're scared of. There's something there that needs to be healed and released for them. And that's why they've got so much of this in there. You know, so putting on kid gloves and still having that compassion, like... You know, I really don't, I don't have to stand here and be disrespected while you blatantly lie to me and try to manipulate me. 
But at the same time, I feel bad for you. It's like you're five years old and you don't know any better because they're not coming from the heart chakra. They're not coming from heartfelt, the heart center. They're coming from the egoic mind. That conditioning that they put over, that they've been... Someone will try to make you do something against your will. And I feel like that's just validation more for the situation going on. There's another card here, though. A sincere wish will be granted. A sincere wish. Dealings or relationships with an older man. So this could be, you know, a uh, father of your kids is coming to mind. Or your father. Uh, there's a lot of, and we've also have the moon card. So yeah, there's just a lot of clarity on a uh, situation or person or people around you because you do have this inner wisdom. That's, it's, you know, you've had it for fucking eons. Okay. We're, you're, you're an ancient soul. You might feel like you have ties to Asia. I don't know why that came up, but. You know, it all happens for a reason. Um, also, there, you know, for some, there's movement towards a new career or job. There's movement towards a new home. There's movement towards a significant other. Let's see what this card is. Hmm, surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So, compassionate forces of the universe. It's talking about having compassion for that person, but you can move away from them, right? Because they do not support your emotional and spiritual and physical healing. Because they're really trying to deceive you. So, it's okay... To let that person go or to turn your back and walk away. It is needed at this time. And who knows. Um, it, it might be needed for that person. For them to be able to go on to their own healing journey. So they can come out of this. And they can quit fucking doing this bullshit right here. <clears throat> yeah there's just too many differences right now. And they're seeing things truly as just right or wrong. Black or white. Yes or no. Okay. There's no changing their mind, and I feel like this is a cycle anyways. You're going to be reflecting on past instances <coughs> where situations happen quite a bit, okay? This person is really trapped in fear, and they're not, like, I think this is just validating that they're not uh, coming from a place of love. You might receive messages from this person, but... Heed this message, okay? Heed this message of deception and envy. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your intuition. I know you might not want to believe that it's true right now for this person, but you are seeing things very, very clearly and for what they really are, okay? You might have an empty chair at dinner. You know, it's it's to help you and your household to, to finish your healing and to continue on your road because some things... This sort of energy is not good to keep around your family. We've got 999 down here too. Maybe it's somebody who you were forbidden in the family to speak to previously. Or a long lost family member and you're just now finding out what's going on. But there's invisible and chaos. Forbidden. This is what's going on in their, their healing dynamic. Something is very hidden from them. Um, a way of seeing things. They need to look in the mirror. They need to reflect on their past things. So you saying or doing what you need to say or do to this person or walking away will help open their eyes, okay? And you might find yourself that you would never be able to do something like that. But you know deep down in your heart, you know it's time. It's time for it. And it, and it has to be done. 
but there would just be keeps uh, situations arising and circumstances arising that's more so and more so each time that pushes you towards you know doing what's right because you know what's right and there you might be really fighting this you are fighting this but this person has got a lot of stuff a lot of healing and a lot of growing to do on their own and if it is an older man they might be so set in their ways and you might be realizing it's a continuous cycle that never ever changes flowery words should not be trusted you are no longer able to hold back the opposition will disappear wow okay one more all you endeavor goes your way because of empowerment keep sharing feelings with friends and family time to do something different step away so that you open up to the prospect of another journey and success will come i i love that closing message for you guys here i'm gonna hold it up there yes wow it's time to do something different in that dynamic my love keep sharing feelings with friends and family you keep doing that you're going to be open to receiving you're going to realize that you didn't deserve all the crappiness that people um sent your way right and always work from that heart chakra work from a place of love and compassion okay you are surrendering to your complete healing journey and you are not going to take no for an answer and you're not going to put up with any more BS. No matter who it's coming from, you're not going to do it anymore. It is needed at this time. This person needs to be graciously and compassionately put in their fucking place. The truth shall set you free, my love. Group three, I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. Until next time, my dears, love and light.